Hi, this is Dr. Clyde. I'm at Dell Fresh Mushroom Farms. I've learned some really interesting things about what it takes to grow mushrooms. When you take healthy compost and put it into a box like this, and grains that are inoculated with spore, and keeping, so that's the fuel, is the healthy metabolites from the bacteria that was in that compost, and you keep moisture in there with peat on top. You put it into a room, close the door, so there's CO2 levels rising up, and the my mycelium grows up through this peat because it likes the right combination of CO2 and oxygen. So it's looking for a little bit more oxygen. Then as soon as you flush oxygen through so that there's way more of that oxygen, it sees that as a threat to its survival. So it goes into survival mode by generating these fruiting bodies that are going to release spores to keep the process going. And those fruiting bodies are the mushrooms that we're eating. So here's an opportunity for me to have a mushroom that's as fresh as you can get it. Very rich texture and, and flavor, really in, and enjoyable to the palate. And not only is there enjoyment from this, but there's the three key nutritional aspects. There you go. For, uh, that's important uh, for human health from mushrooms. First is the fiber content. So a full serving of mushrooms in a meal will give you as much as 10% of your daily uh, fiber uh, requirements. Vitamin B. Very high in relative in mushrooms, ranging for uh, roughly 5% of your total daily needs in the B complex, which are important for metabolism. So they're coenzymes to drive metabolisms in our body. And then the third and most interesting, in my opinion, because of so much of the research that's been coming out lately, is the vitamin D content in mushrooms. Although a full serving of mushrooms only has about the amount of vitamin D in a, in a whole egg, or in liver, so in fatty fish, it's about 10 times higher than that. Turns out that there's some recent research showing that when ultraviolet from the sun hits a mushroom, of course it browns it fairly quickly, and maybe, you know, and so it, it, it changes the appearance fairly quickly, but the vitamin D level skyrockets by an order of magnitude even more than the levels that are in fatty fish, which I think is very interesting. So, tastes very good, has some fairly profound nutritional components, and you will see me talking a little bit more about this on my blog where you can read more through my website at drclydewilson.com. That's drclydewilson.com. I'll see you next time.